Hour of Code at Avenues is a week in December where every student on campus spends at least one hour doing some kind of computer programming related activity. I'm going to show you guys a cool video. It's actually really easy to learn. Girls should learn this too. Programming is a lot easier today. Don't just play on your phone. Program it. Code.org and the Organization for Computer Science in the high schools is promoting this idea of everyone doing just an hour of code to get comfortable with programming and see that it can be fun and not just for geeks. So all of the sixth grade today are making interactive holiday cards with Scratch. I'm making a video of Christmas, a Merry Christmas card. They can do it for any holiday they want and um, the idea is that they'll make something that isn't just a picture, but it actually does something. So you click on it and the character spins around or it says something. We are doing this because we think that uh, computer science is very important in K through 12 education. What we did this morning with the preschool was we had them pair off into teams where one kid was a programmer and one kid was a robot. And the programmer had a series of instructions on graphical cards, so they didn't need to be able to read that they could program the robot with, and then the robot had to follow those things. Just the beginning of an idea of how code happens without really putting it in those terms. So let's pick up our iPads again and try to do the same thing with your creature that you guys just told me. I added characters and put move and rotation on everyone, and then they all move. I was in a music class, and we worked on kind of the musical aspect of how computers can make sound and make synthesizers. In World Religion, we had like a almost 30-minute roundtable discussion about how these like days, such as like the Day of Code, affect personal passions. Coding should be taught not just at avenues, but at schools in general, because there's so many jobs for coding. Students are going to need to have those skills to succeed. I could see myself going into a job with coding. I like the way it made me feel at the end. Once you actually look at it and you're like, oh my god, I did 30 lines, then you feel the sort of accomplishment that I coded 30 lines. Any profession. If you have that in your toolbox, you're going to be a more valuable employer. We all use these computers all the time, every day, but we really don't have that much awareness of what they really do and that you can actually be more than a user, that you can actually be a creator with computers. And one way you can do that is with programming.